What is going on guys? DJ Spinday here bringing you a brand new series. We're doing a Pokemon Legends Arceus Soul Link for the first time ever probably on all of YouTube, who knows. With I hope so. The the my fellow pioneer <laughs> on YouTube here, the Phantom Michael. What is going on everybody? The Phantom Michael is here. We're about to go into an uncharted territory is uh, in both a, a game perspective and in both a challenge perspective because this is going to be nutty, bro. It's going to be nutty. Too insane, actually. Too this might insane. actually only be an episode or two long. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, who knows? Who knows? All right, Dylan, let's get into it. I'm ready. All righty. I'm going. I'm going. All right. All righty, then. Dylan, what did you think when you first opened up and seen this? I was like, oh, my Honestly, goodness. I got vibes, big-time vibes of, um, oh, what is that? What is it called? Um, Mystery Dungeon. Yeah? Yeah, that's how I felt. Welcome to my realm located beyond both time and space. <laughs> I guess I'll be uh, Arceus. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. All right. Oh, oh we're gonna be so gonna beautiful. Do... Dude, we're literally gonna look like the same person, the... Mike. Yeah, it's the closest to my hairstyle or hair color. Yeah, me too. Boop. We're gonna go with Phantom. What is thy name? <laughs> What is thy name? None of your damn business. DJ. Phantom DJ Spinder. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. Bro, so intense. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Whoa. Whoa, what is a Pokemon? Phantom. DJ Spinder. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Totally Legend of Zelda vibes right there. Yeah. Yeah. This is true, sir. This is true. Alright. Oh, what you say? See, this is where I got, like, oh. it's like Mystery Dungeon, you know? Like, yeah. You just wake up on an island. My iPhone. Come back. Oh, it's so odd that they just like straight up are just like, nah, we're just gonna have him have a phone. Yeah, he's just gonna have a cell phone. The the biggest focus in this game is gonna be a phone, actually. You know what's weird about that, bro? Hmm. I was thinking about this. You know how like every handheld <laughs> is based Arcus, on. Here's a phone for you. Bah. You know how like every Pokedex is based on how the current version of the game is being played on. Yep. So what if this phone is like? Because we play Pokemon Go, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Like, if the, I love the how Galler... just, he cradles us like a baby. Like, you are my child. Yeah. That log had a child. <laughs> Pokemon Legends Arceus. That mom or had a Arceus, child. if you are divine. That mom had a All child. All right, Dylan. Let's, uh, while we go through the dialogue a little bit, let's talk to them about how the Soul Link is going to work. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, don't wake up, won't you? I'll let you be the professor if you want. Mm. Are you alive, my boy? Oh. I don't know what, like, ethnicity this guy is, but... Mm. Look at these Pokemans on the screen. You gave me quite a shot falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seemed unharmed. I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. <laughs> Come now, what in the world is, who does that? I must say your clothing is uh, unusual to say the least. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I don't know. <laughs> no family. I see, you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around you can stay? Nope. I don't know. 
So you don't know anyone here. You don't know what you, you don't know anything. What are you stupid? Well, that's a <laughs> proper pickle indeed. Quite sure you'll be able to survive. Somehow, I guess. This game talks about death a lot. Yeah, it's surprising. Oh, you're gonna die out here. See ya. <laughs> see ya. I see. Uh, well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Fool. Who asked you? <laughs> Plish plash. I was taken a bath, but it long about us. Oh my! I'd completely forgotten. I just had three Pokemon just sitting right here. They were running away from me. I didn't even notice they were there. Hmm. It's almost as if they knew you were going to appear. Ah, but don't even you don't even know what a Pokemon is, do you? What? Of course I. Do. Not exactly. <laughs> of course I do. I play it on my phone, my Arc phone. <laughs> you know, swipe. That's that's a relief. Well, you fell from the sky. It seems you have some common ground, eh? Well, yes, these three Pokemon belong to me, you mysterious creatures. They are, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, and you might, your name might be. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so you're called DJ Spinda, or Phantom, depending on what universe you're in. Depending. That name is quite, has quite the ring to it, I imagine. It must have some lovely meaning. Nope, not at all. <laughs> oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Lavington. I'm something of, I'm something of a scientist myself. <laughs> 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 that is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen the understanding of Pokemans. Yes, Pokemon. Oh. Okay, bye. <laughs> good, no, we're good running. Oh, blasted bother, my darling Pokemon. They must be run, run from me again, those little bastards. <laughs> <laughs> this is a kid show. Oops. I'm terribly sorry, but did you think you could help me round them up? I beg you, please. Me and my striped right. pants. I look like Beetlejuice. His cousin. Alright. What's a Beetlejuice? What's a Beetlejuice? Can I dive yet? Ugh, right. I want to dive. Nope. Dive, duck, dodge, dip, dive. Perry, flinch, purr. <laughs> dodge, Perry, flinch. It's a cell phone. It's a cellular telephone. Pick it up. The pick it up. Pick, pick it up. up. Picking up All right, Dylan. I'm picking we up are bones. headed to our starter realms, correct? The starter realms. The location at which we we get a starter Pokemon pretty early we're on. In this we're game. heading to the Shadow Realm. Oh yeah, yeah, we we could just well um talk about this right now. Um, yeah, our, let's do it, bro. Our special rules for this. So this is a Soul Link. We're gonna follow the most basic of Soul Link rules, which is going to be um every you know every uh, new area we encounter Pokemon just like any Nuzlocke. But the way we got to do it is we got to get a pair that links together, and then we cannot have common typings um, mm -hmm. across each team. So a perfect example would be if we both encounter uh, a fire type that's an illegal pair. Um, mm -hmm. If we have a grass and a fire type, then that pair can join the team as long as there are no other grass or fire types across his team or my team. Mm -hmm. We're going to follow all of those rules, but in this game, because everything is going to be out in the open and in the, we're able to see everything... Unless mm -hmm. something runs into us, which it still can't encounter us that way, so I guess that's not even a thing in this game. But um, what our plan is, is because this game is going to be, like, extra super difficult, we are going to um, pick, and we're gonna pick and choose the mons that are going to work best. And, and if that means that we pick the two best mons possible, but they can't join our team at that point, then so be it. That's what we got to do, because... Because um, we're going to lose a lot of gonna, Pokemon, we're gonna lose I a lot guarantee of Pokemon. you, because... <laughs> This game's very weird. I don't know if you guys have played it yet. Um, if you guys were looking for a full-on story breakdown, this is probably not the video for you guys. We are straight up here doing a challenge of this game. Um, so we're going to play as strategic and as intelligent as possible to try to get this W in this Soul Link of ours. Um, with that being said, Dylan, who would you like to be your partner? Okay, one thing I have to say, they um, yep. they give you 50 Pokeballs here, and then they just kind of take that away and give you 20. <laughs> yeah. Did you notice sure. that before? They're chumps. Bunch of chumps, bunch of lion fools, I tell you what. You know what's oh, weird? I never, use, I never use the lock-on. I don't either. Um, I've, I don't think I've ever really used it. Okay, which starter do you want? Which which Pokemon would you well, like? We, right now, we have to catch all three of them, regardless. He's adorable. So let's just go catch all three of them. 
Oh, stop. All right. Uh, let's see. Now that I know how this game works, I can just like chuck Pokeballs like super duper quick. Yeah. I I threw the Pokeball right oh, away they, and then it caught. And came yeah, back. they they stop you after you, in between each one. Yeah, I was trying to. Hello, Oshawott. Pow. Um, as far as starter choices, I think I'm wanting um Rowlet. Rowlet, he says. Yes, yes, Shia. What if I wanted Rowlet? I really want a, a a four times weakness to flying. Actually, that's really what I want. I want a four time weakness. Dude, you know what? You know what this game does though, like surprisingly well. It kind of blows my mind. Hmm. Alpha Pokemon as well as trainer Pokemon. I have noticed in this game actually have moves that aren't in their regular learn set like they say that dude it's crazy like i'll be mm -hmm. battling something and i'm like oh i've got every type advantage over this thing possible mm -hmm. and then it hits me with a super effective move that it doesn't normally have I'm like what and then you die yeah and then you just freaking eat, eat dirt yeah so like that's gonna be that's gonna be the biggest thing it's like we're gonna be playing yeah. and we're gonna be like okay this will be a safe switch in i'll come in this way and then they'll attack twice or something or they'll hit with mm -hmm. something super effective and you just you're, you just lose you're just done gotcha we're gonna have all so right. many problems with that yeah all right so we know there's a whole lot of dialogue and talking prior to the actual start of the game so we're gonna work on coming up with strategies for our starter pokemon dylan you going with rallet so i guess I'll be taking Oshawott. Now, to be fair, Mike, if you go if fair. you go Cyndaquil, you get yourself a ghost type. I think I'm going to take ghost as the first route encounter, I think. Yeah, but it's going to be primary or primary fire still, it'll be fire ghost. Later on, much later on. Plus, I think Cyndaquil gives you a better fighting chance in some earlier battles, I think. Because you battle Pikachu a few times. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to think so we don't like lose our starters right away. That's true. Now, okay, I think I'm. I think I am going to take Cyndaquil. I, that's just because there's only two fire types early on. Yeah. And that's Ponyta, Ponyta, and um, because if you want a water type, you can get yourself Chimchar. a Buizel really early. And right. I think Buizel and Floatzel are pretty good water types. Dude, we can almost pair Buizel and Bobaro. Yes, you could. That could be our. That could take care of all of our water problems. And then... Oh, we can't, though. Uh, well, unless I catch Starly in my first encounter. But then you gotta catch a Bidoof. Yeah, the, uh, well... We Unle unless, you're Bidoof unless, you're able anyway. to get, unless you're able to get Shinx as a first encounter. See, okay, uh, how are we gonna do this very first encounter stuff? Because okay. it, it forces you to catch a Bidoof and a Starly and we a Shinx. We won't count those until she releases us after those three. So we'll release those three once we get them, after we get those yep. done. And then we also get the... Which, by the way, I'm going to mention this too. When we release Pokemon that we catch to progress ourselves in the story, that'll give us the mm -hmm. grit dust and the grit, grit pebbles and stuff like that so mm -hmm. we can b buff our Pokemon that we're using. You, right. you know what I mean? So even if we don't have a mm -hmm. great nature, we can still max out our EVs, basically. Right. So right now we're walking, me and Dylan. If you see this, you see it. If you don't, is what it is. Okay, we're at the starter selection. Dylan, who are you taking? Bro, okay, so we talked uh, during we were cutaway, and we're going to do... Mm -hmm. I'm going to do Rowlet for mine. I'm going to do Cinequil. And we were talking about our nicknaming scheme for this Soul Link, mm -hmm. and what we're going to do is we're going to truly Soul Link these two Pokemon together. And we're going to do a blend or a hybrid of their Pokemon species name. So cute. And uh, that way they're, like, super duper linked. Mm -hmm. Super duper linked. So, I was thinking mine would be Cinelit. Nice. And Cindelet. what were you thinking? Um, I'm thinking Rowlaquil. Rowlaquil. Which is cool. I, like it. I think that's pretty cool. Oh. There's the squad, boy. There's the squad right there. Early squad. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Look at Rowlaquil. The soul link has begun. Oh, kill him. Well, shit. We could both encounter Eevee. That's true. That's true. I see Shinx. Oh, there oh. it is. There it is, Dylan. Bro, you got her. I'm just... Dude, that is straight up an EV, bro. Creeping around here. Oh, don't spot me. Guys, EV. Oh, it's sleeping, Dylan. It's sleeping. Oh, you I got lucky it. lucky dog. I oh, feel, it's I sleeping. feel like I'm in about in the same area here. 
<gasps> Dude, did we just score an Eevee? Let's go! Eevee is our... Eevee is our aspiration heal encounter. Okay, um... Dude. Does it tell you where they got caught at, too? Oh, you might be able to look. No. It doesn't Oh, it, it said it was caught in Horseshoe Plains. Oh, oh really? So it's not Aspiration Seal. Yeah, it, that's what it said. It never changed for me. No. Mine neither. So it must be... Horseshoe Plains must be close. Oh, snap. Huh. So why? I just, I just, oh, I'm, man. I'm why doesn't somewhere. it change? Um... We do have a shiny clause, Dylan. What do you think about that, my man? I'm I'm fine with that. So if we catch a shiny Pokemon in the wild, we just go ahead and, and scoop it up, huh? Yeah, I'm down with that. Okay. So I wonder if I catch this Bidoof, if I catch, catch it here, it it is, it, is it Horseshoe Plains? Catch it. See what's, now mine says Aspiration Hill. Now let's see if it changes the Horseshoe. Okay, so there's a Bidoof. That's okay. my captured encounter. Okay. Um, and that says it is Horseshoe Plains. Okay, so Eevee, Bidoof, and we do understand that, yes, you can't link a normal and a normal type, but this is an Eevee, so we are going to ensure that it turns into an Espeon so that it is fair. Yep, so okay. mine, I gotta, I'm gonna nickname mine to, uh, oof, that's gonna be weird. See if I can try to think of a funny blended name. Um... If I do mm -hmm. bid bid v or bid v on, ooh, there we go, bid v, because it's gonna be an eon at some point, you know. Espioof. Espioof. <laughs> That's what yours could be. Yours could be espioof, dude. If you go espioof. That's what I called mine. Nice. Mine's mine's bid v on. I already called it that. Mine is bid bid v on. All right. So we need, we can't do a normal type, and we, I'm going to have to catch an electric or a bug, Dylan. Gotcha. So what are you thinking for Aspiration Hill? Um, okay, so yeah, I, I never did find the Eevee in Horseshoe Plains, so I've just got, um, get out of my way, Bidoof. <laughs> um, let's see here, I'm going to mosey on back this way. There is a Shinx up there for me, if I want the Shinx. But what do you need? You have a you have a grass and you have a water type essentially. So yep. Do you need a bug type or do you need an electric type? I mean, I can roll with a bug type. I'd be fine with that. Okay. I so, see. I see a wormhole in my path right now. Anyway, so. Gotcha. Okay, so I'll just make this quick. Wow, two of these things grew side by side. That's kind of crazy. All right. So we're gonna quickly catch the shinks up here. By the way, Mike, I'm gonna use berries hey, uh, when I can because you get more points yeah. it toward your pokedex which we're gonna need every yep. bit we can yes sir better stay in the ball punk all right yes, I, caught a, I caught a wormpole shinx and wormpole let's see let's check the area my yep, oh mine yep. shows horseshoe plains oh you gotta let wormpole. it go yep okay. mine is uh obsidian fields oh really what was yep. your aspiration hill? Oh shoot! That's what I'm saying. Like, what? Hmm. I guess I didn't catch that. Then there, son of a bitch. This is gonna get tricky. This is. So go closer to the bridge, to the edge of the water. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, this is where I'm at. Oh, here we go. Flora Gardens. I'm heading that direction. To the Flora, okay, there. Flora Gardens. Catch a Catch a Pokemon over there. Okay, it's switched to Flora Gardens where I'm at right now. Okay. Come on, baby. Climb it, climb it, climb it. There we go. Oof. I just we are just it. trying to collect shit and not die. Yep. Okay. Ah, yes, a wormhole. I see one. Perfect. So I will have to catch my floor gardens tonight, Dylan. You can just switch it tonight. I'm about to. Alright. Caught the wormhole. Nice. Let's find out 
make sure that the um make sure it's the right area. Yeah. Okay, Wormpole. It shows flora, uh, flora gardens. Yeah, Floro gardens. That, that's where I got Wormpole's the gardens. Okay. So Wormpole, Wormpole is linked with Shinx. Then you're saying, right? Yeah. Okay. So no, Wormpole. It says Shinx got caught in Obsidian Field. So what did you get out of the out of the garden? I haven't yet. I'm gonna have to switch to nighttime. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yep. So I'll do that real quick. Hang tight. But then I don't. I'm not gonna have Shinx after this, unfortunately, until you get a different Pokemon. Okay. Oh. oh shoot, Dylan. We can't change it. The night time. Why not? It says I can't change it yet. Oh snap. Yeah. So now what? I guess we come over here and try to get you a Burmian Obsidian Fields. So. Obsidian Fields, is that going to count after I cross the bridge? No, no, dude. I never went to the bridge. I oh. never crossed the bridge. Okay. I literally went down where Dawn is, hung a right, and caught a Shinx on that hill. And it was like, oh, congratulations, you're in Obsidian Fields. <laughs> it's like, that's dumb. All right, I'm going to Dawn. I'm going to do this bit real quick. I think I've got some stuff for you. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, I'm just looking Sorry. for a shaken tree here. Boy, these encounters are going to get messy, bro. Tell me about it. It's a little challenging to, like, really... We didn't take that... I thought it was going to be a lot more concrete as far as where things were. Yeah, I did too. It's, it's definitely... Like, when you first jump into Obsidian Fieldlands here at this base camp, it just says Obsidian Fieldlands. Right, which is... The big area, so I don't even know if Shinx counts as an encounter for me. That's what I'm oh, saying. I don't know. He just looked at my damn thing. I could have kept going. Yeah, he didn't do that for me, so I must not have done enough out here. Putting all my Pokemon in Pasture 8 that we're keeping. So, all right. Go ahead, Dylan. Send us off. This was a choppy cut-up bit of an episode to get some stuff going, but we know what we're doing. Yeah, we are, we are back here uh, at the base camp, and we're going to wrap up this first episode now that we're all started mm -hmm. and turned loose into the game here and oh, yeah. uh you know you guys are gonna get the most pretty looking 20 25 minute cut of this oh yeah <laughs> um so you don't have to watch us sit and run around in circles figuring out what we got to do but anyway we got party of two right now um mm -hmm. it's coming together working on yeah, that you can third look one. at them right here guys check them out boom right up here on the overlay right above me uh, well, um, i was gonna throw them out on the game oh yeah look. we can do that too yeah there you are yeah let's just put them out here i'll just put them there's out here. uh there's, there's my squad right there. Look at this. Huh? Raliquil and Bidoofion. <laughs> and Espidoof and Sindelit. I love it. Uh, I love it so much. Okay. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this first episode and you're excited for this brand new adventure in the old Sinnoh slash Hisui region with me and the Phantom Michael, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button down below because your support is so greatly appreciated. If you're brand new to the channel, subscribe for more. And as always, that's it. See you later.